to by the way ni pia ni pesa tuondoke twende zetu nyumbani kwa sasa lakini mgeni wangu wa siku anaitwa Jen Watere Jen Watere uh, karibu sana kwenye studio asante pasa sauti yako kidogo siogope mike hakuna mtu atataka kuona mm-hmm. karibu mike yeah. uh, Jen Watere mm-hmm. Habari ya siku nyingi? Mzuri sana. Habari kubadilika? Mzuri sana. Maisha kubadilika yako vipi? Yako poa kabisa. Msikilizaji, Jen Watere alikuwa kwa ni kahaba siku zake za nyuma lakini akabadilika. Ilikuwaje? Okay. For now mimi ni preacher. Mm-hmm. Wow. Pastor. Wow. Na hubiria wasana kuambia mm-hmm. sio hiyo sio maisha poa. Mm. Na for sure hata mimi wakati wakati siku anajielewa mm-hmm. nilikaa uko for seven years. Mm maisha ya ukahaba nimeingia kwa studio kasikia mkiongea mambo ya bangi sizo bangi tumevuta Ehe. hata unashanga saa hizi mmeanza kufanya watu enda wazimu kwani hizo siku zetu zikuwa zinatufanya okay but anyway si 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 praise bangi ati ni kitu mzuri mm. but mm. tulitumia in that time mm-hmm. without knowledge yeah. but for now kuna knowledge ya kwamba hiyo mm. maisha ambayo tulikuwa tunaishi mm. because i fresh community mm. fresh family i fresh wazazi mm. so nakuta first of all we have rejected from your community yeah. even from from your parent mm. so si hizi atatini wasana nyo kwa hiyo life because mm. muonge muongelesha mm. hata kumbuka last week nilikuwa kwa tv niliwaambia that is not the life mm. mungu akukuumba ukue kahaba mungu akukuumba ukue chombo ambacho kipendezi mungu alikuumba mwili wako na the bible says mm. uh, first corinthians 3:17 your body is the temple kwa hivyo yeah. mwili wako ni mahali ni, ni mwili mtakatifu yeah. mume aliumbiwa mke mmoja mume mm. mwanamke kaumbiwa mume mmoja lakini yes. si huko mbiwa waume ama wake okay. maana mwili wako ni kitu kitakatifu okay yeah. wow mm. unasema ulikuwa kahaba kwa miaka saba mm-hmm. nani alikuwa introduce kwa kahaba ah ni rafiki yangu though alikuwa she was very old than me mm. yeye ndiye ni introduce nilikuwa 17 years na yeye alikuwa wapi na yeye alikuwa mvuli gani alikuwa like uh, 32 years old or okay. 37 hapo double your age but already she uh, now she's normal alikufanga in that days miaka kadhaa zimepita mm. what happened to her i don't know because you know those ladies that was tena was street wanapenda sana witchcraft mm. something like that mm. ama unakuta abortions maybe magonjo you don't know mm-hmm. but yeye tu aligonjeka tukiwa na air coast okay nikahafukumsafirisha huku okay na kahafukupaz okay but yeye ndiye alinionyesha ngakuja nikuonesha mahali watu waenda job mimi ni kwa wapi Mombasa ma first of all in Angus Street okay hapa Nairobi yes mm-hmm. but me the first time i was thinking mm-hmm. ni job ya kama hotel ba Mhm. Kwa sababu niambia wewe hivyo lakini kuna uniform. Kumbe okay. uniform vile you know the how the ladies najua shapitia kwa inange si kitu yes. mgeni kwa kushapita. Zaidi. Eh, zaidi na na kuitana madali huko. That means inakuwa tu ni risk life. Na because mm. I remember hapo nyuma wakati nili nili nilijifungua nili mtoto nikiwa mchanga mm. the father of my son alini reject. Okay. So me to go to Koinange mm. I feel my heart ilikuwa uh, ilikuwa heartbroken. Okay. So kitu po, kitu mzuri saa hii mm. kama mtu ameku heartbroken usiende kujilipishia na kuumiza mwili wako. Okay. It better utafuta utafuta a counselor ku counsel mm. ama utafuta a preacher mm-hmm. akuombe. Ak, ak, okay. So me step nilichukua mm. niliona nikienda Koinange Street mm. nita nita list to that broken heart. Okay. Yeah. Wazazi wako walikuwa wapi wakati ambapo huyu rafiki yako Uh, akikuchukua ukiwa na umri mdogo namna hii my parents walikuwa na, wanaishi far from me okay so hawakujua what is happening but kilifanya wajue ulikuwa wa, kwa nini unaishi mbali na watu, wazazi walihama place nyingine mm-hmm. my mama alikuwa anajenga mahali nyumba so wakati nyumba iliisha akasema mm-hmm. yana hama okay mimi nikamwambia nitakuja baadaye kuna Kume... Mtoto miaka 17 namwambia nilikuwa nisha mm. tu miaka tumeenda sasa mm. because ya 17 nimebeba mimba mm-hmm. so 18 sana tan karibu 20 hapo hivyo okay nile mwambia nataka kuja baba yule alikuwa wapi alikuwa tu okay but unajua tena nikwambia kitu moja kama mzazi kitu moja mzazi unafaa ukue nayo mm. mtoto wote kama ame ame bila sema uh, i mean kuna msema inasemanga sipofunzwa na mama ufunzwa na ulimwengu wakati umekataa kutii mashauri ya mzazi wako mm-hmm. unakutanga wakati mwingine dunia itakufunza yes na because umekataa ma- mashauri ya mzazi ambao mzazi yako na hekima ya kiungu juu ya maisha yako mm-hmm. marafiki watakuongoza katika njia mbaya ndio na after that your friend akaniambia kuja nikupeleke mimi remember that time jumto yeye liko bado ananyonya mm-hmm. ilikuwa anampatia piliton so aweze kulala ndio mm-hmm. niweze kwenda hiyo kwa inange mm-hmm. so na Ukuna, unampatia piliton unamwacha na nani? Peke yake kwa nyumba. Akiwa na miaka mingapi? Mi, alikuwa na mwaka mmoja na kichwa hapo. 
namuacha tu kwa nyumba the whole night so ilifika mahali dawa ikakuwa addict kwa mwili mm. my mom akaambia na baneba ah mkusoko tofauti kuja uchukue mtoto wako juu msichana wako kuna mali anaenda hii kazi anaendanga na kujanga mm. subi mtoto analia the whole because oh. alizoea anga ile ile maisha ya ku kumeza hizo dawa mm. ikachanganyika na unajua wakati umetumia dawa sana inakuanga unakuanga addict kama mtu wa mm. drugs mm na mbona tumeona na kuanga addicted mm-hmm. so pia ilikuwa na addicted so ziko zina resistant yani mtu aha mm-hmm. so after that my mama akachukua mtoto wake kanambiwa wewe kwenye nazuri langa utaua mjukuu wangu my mama akachukua mtoto wangu na akaenda na yeye and then siku mfuata siku mfuata jo nilijua ako safe mm mtoto wake kiko kiume kwa kiume mm and that time the, the father of my son kitu ilifanya aniate alipatanga ama sugar mami ka sponsor Mm-hmm. na wakati alichukua ka sponsor mm-hmm. kaona sasa huwa kila saa anaweza kuweka mkono hivi mm-hmm. so ni vizuri pia wakati msichana ameolewa hata kama utauza waharu hata kama utauza nini fanya ka job hiyo kitu ili ni teacher lesson okay. don't be a housewife to be a, like a flower usikuwe mm-hmm. kama maua ti mm-hmm. umekaa tu hapo husband mm-hmm. ile job kuwa mtu muactive so mm-hmm. pia mimi nilifunza kitu mm-hmm. sasa ule bi, ule bibi mwenye alikuwa alikuwa ameandika my husband job alimwambia anataka wakoe na urafiki Okay. So my mama alikuwa na Nissan kwa barabara zilikuwa mm. zinabali for sure alikuwa na do. Na mimi kila jioni nimeweka mkono hivi kaa kiwete hapo mm. amepata mtu mwenye anampea, hey my friend mimi ni baki hapo kwa mata. So <laughs> mimi janishwa. Ah hapo my friend hakuna yeah. tata hakuna kufikiria mm. round mm. wa kunipenda kupewa. Mm. Pia wewe uh, pia wewe bijiulize kama una knowledge ya Mungu taenda tu. Mm. So mimi after that nilikuwa nasikia niko na bitterness na wanamu so mimi mm. nikienda koi nange mm. si kwenda jukwaa tu kuna shida kitu okay. ya kwanza Dio. by the way kwetu tuko sawa kabili ya blessed okay bibi yani mamangu anaishi nyumba yake for sita zangu anaishi nyumba zetu so we are blessed hatuna okay. tishida at ile anasema ni shida mm. but tunaona hiyo ku break your heart na mtu ndio ile ilifanya ile ni push to that corner ulikuwa unaona ni kama unaenda kuonyesha wanaume sasa nilikuwa na deal nao vizuri mimi ningeona tu mwanaume karibu na mimi tu ningekubebea nikubebea kila kitu we mm. i tell you mm-hmm. ilikuwaje leo imeshakuwa mm-hmm. <laughs> jenu atere tuko naye ndani ya studio hata ndio ni kazi anayofanya lakini hakuwa nafurahia tena kabla utende kuchukua break ulikuwa unasema hapo wali kwamba um furaha yako mm-hmm. ilikuwa kuni kuibia wanaume yeah because wali destroy life yangu na wewe umesema tukiwa off air kwamba mwanamke kahaba anapoingia katika ukahaba kuna ukahaba njia tatu mm-hmm. njia kwanza ikiwa ni first of all ndio nimesema mm-hmm. ukiona kahaba kwa barabara first mm-hmm. of all si mjaji mm-hmm. kahaba ni mara tatu ndio kuna mwenye wa kujitakia mm-hmm. amesema yani ni ile nataki kuchoka na nataki kufanya job ndio kuna mwenye ako heart broken mm-hmm. na kuna mwenye huyu watatu mm-hmm. huyu watatu anasema ni for, ni for fun mm-hmm. huyu kuna mmoja kona shida mwingine ali aliumizo moyo mm-hmm. na mwingine ni for fun. Okay. So ukiona mtu kwa njia first of all before you judge somebody mm-hmm. because unataka kuambia watu wangu wanachukulia hiyo jina ukahaba mm-hmm. wanawadharau watu. Ndio. Unaona mtu unaona ni kama ni mchafu. Mm-hmm. Yaani si mchafu physical unaona kutumika tabia nafanya mm-hmm. si mtu ambaye ni mzuri. But kitu ya kwanza tunafaa kuonesha watu upendo. Don't judge somebody ukimwona vile na kaa. Mm-hmm. Watu ukipata na mtu kwa njia kuwa nataka katika kutilia maana nini ni mbaya juu i remember such a time kulikuja wazungu kwa Inange Street walikuwa wamekuja kutembea huko Kenya mm-hmm. na walikuja walikuwa wame host tatu a hotel mm-hmm. excite hotel okay na wakati walikuja walituambia tumekuja Kenya tumekuja kutembea kwa street mm-hmm. tukashindwa ni clients even isikuja wa mapas alikuwa the servants of god mm-hmm. katuambia tunakuja kwa preach but tutawalipa so walikuja kwa Inange wakatuongelea mm-hmm. wakatu show love wakatupikia kofi so tukona wa kumbe tunaweza pende kumbe kuna wanaume wazuri zaidi wenye walitua jitunge kama mahali kwa street kila mtu anakuambia nini nimefanya kuja tao mm-hmm. huyo anakuambia msike ukahaba ina do ndio nimeka mm-hmm. ngia anakuambia ah mimi niko na shida but unauliza mtu wa shida si wewe ukafungue uka kazi ya kibanda huzi atasukuma mm-hmm. mwingine anakuambia mimi najui ndio pesa ya haraka. Yaani kila mtu ako na story yake. Tukao tunaka. Yeah. Na sababu yako ni kwa sababu ulipata mimba na mm. jamaa akakuacha akamwendea mwanamke ambaye huko ni ako na pesa. Ako na pesa na ni mkubwa kumshinda. Uh-huh. Sa exactly what are you doing to this man? First of all ninge kumbuka ile kitu nilifanywa na mm. men. Mm. Na kumbebea simu mm. everything. 
sitaki kujua mm. na si kwa na deal na Afrika nilikuwa na kama Africans ndio wabaya sana so nilikuwa mm. na deal na white people mm. mtu mzungu alikuja tu Kenya juu najua ataniambia siku ngapi atakaa Kenya so mm. ni lazima ni mdhulumu nasema mwanaume ni mwanaume ni ngozi tu mm. so niakumbuka nimeshikwa i remember such a time hiyo siku lakini si kushikwa juu ya kuimba nilishika nilipatikana tu kulikuwa na msako mm -hmm. shikwa nikapelekwa langata prison mm. na nikakaa one month okay ulikuwa umeshikiwa nini prostitution okay nikapelekwa city hall kotini mm -hmm. na nikafungwa okay na nika kwa mwezi mmoja kwa mwezi mmoja nikamaliza kifungo ulishindwa kutoa fine ni nilijibu jaji viruda ulimwambia nini <laughs> Nile mwambia aliniambia ilipatikana jana kama unapiga umalali kama mbona wao unaonaje? Ah, kanambia nimekufunga mwezi. Na fine ya ngili that obvious that inatoa pesa hiyo nilikuwa tu ndio naingia kwa street. Okay. Kaniambia enda langata mwezi ushike adabu. Mm. Asiyefunzwa na mama nika kumbuka kile kumbe ile msemo mzazi anakuambia na mama yao ufunzwa na sasa ulimu wangu hapo ndio nilifunza. Kaa nikao na How was life in the prison? Hey, my friend. Maisha ilikuwaaje? Ni hell. Eh? Ah, prison hell. Mtu akifilia tu mapeleka mtu prison na change. Mm. It better umuombe mm. kuliko kumpeleka prison. Anaenda kuwa mgumu zaidi. Sasa anakuwa mangata times tu. Sasa uko unakuta wengine unakuonesha. Kwa hiyo unakuja huko na nini? Unamwambia mimi sijui nini mwingine akwambia eh yako si kesi. Mm. Mbogo za tufulia hizi kunguru. Hizo manguo zao wafulie. Yes. Sasa itabidi tena huko kwa crazy. Yes. Kwa sababu usikutumie vibaya. Kuna okay. baka lesbianism kwa prison. Did you do it? I, I can't. Okay. Because I, I know first of all mm even though I usiku ni ni kubona get mm. but I know why God did destroy Sodom and Gomorrah okay. he destroyed because of homosexual and lesbian hiyo ndio tulifanya Mungu destroy Sodom and Gomorrah okay. even though usiku ni miokoka immorality yes immorality well. yeah mm. but unajua kuna ile immorality beyond immorality is immorality ya kwa bia eh hiyo ni zaidi lesbian <laughs> my friend hapana <laughs> sasa maisha yako uko kumezoea wanaume ukiwa uko ndani how was life uko utamani ni kwa tu utaishi tu mm. juu nimefungwa na sina mm. otherwise mm. hey, mema nikuwa nimechange maka kajina kangu juu nikuwa juu madhangu ni tough mm -hmm. kani kajanikisha jina ingine hapo ok so my mama wakati wakani chafuta wakani chafuta wa police station wapi yani usha wanabaka ume, ume, ume give up na family yako juu wana isumbua sana mm. Mm. nikuwa wana isumbua my mom huo ni mtoto wangu ya nanilelea nimekuwa mm. mtu wa kushuko kwa na prison mm. So ni kujaza ndanganya ni jina after one month ndakuwa nimekuja. Let me ask you. Mm. Wakati ambapo ulikuwa unaibia hao wanaume, mm. ulikuwa una una unawaibia vipi? Kimabavu ama no. unatumia mbinu gani? Akili yangu tu. Ndambe akili ni nyewe kila mtu ana zake. Okay. Ni kwa kutumia tu hizo akili zangu tu. Mm. Eh mm. na kuingiza tu box. Utajua na si duba vile watu sema ati wa, 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 wa prostitute na kuanga na, mm. na kamote. Mm. Mm. Mimi hata sijui kamote ni ni, ni, ni akala gani hapana lakini wengi nasimekana kwamba wanawekia wengine tamaa wengine wengi nalakia dawa but hizo dawa hizo siku zetu wazikuwa zimekuja okay yeah okay so ni vile tu yani kila mtu aliku okay wacha ni kwa mbiru na kwa street kila mtu anajua nini mempeleka pale mm. kama umenda pale hivyo juu ni job you will enjoy that life mm. but ukikumbuka in your heart kuna mtu aliharibu ali, life yako na usichana wako mm -hmm. hata una time na uo mwanaume so uta eza ni kasimu uta waza mdanganga nipatia simu nipigia mtu wapa enja ni kitupla unaenda yani tu ujanja ni twingi ok mm. your worst experience katika ikazi ya ukahaba ilikuwa ni gani ya yeah, uneza miti mtu ata mm. kukuwa mm. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Kuna ladies until today tujui kwenye walienda. Ushi, wewe ushawahi wewe kitu yes, ambacho ulipitia. Yes, nimeona na hivyo. Kitu gani ulipitia? Nikamit na client, mm -hmm. tukaenda those these these big big estates. Mhm. Mm Akaniambia nimpatie time kidogo apande upstairs. Mm -hmm. After that akaniambia my god they refuse your sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yes. My god they don't want your sacrifice. Hawataki kafara yako. Because wake okay, ongepa demo kwa street na mapepo ma, mashetani zimesema ziletea ya mtu zitolewe kafara mhm mm so wewe unapotea hivyo until na kuambia until today kuja kosa dem kama 10 ama 7 wamepotea so umeingia na mwanamume ndani ya nyumba mm -hmm. akapanda juu mhm mm akateremka mm -hmm. alipokuja akakwambia my god they refuse your sacrifice what yes ulifanya nini hakuna niko ukushtuka hata i don't care so, what who is god that time eh uh, that time who is god si ingetaka kujua mbambi okay you have wasted my time pay me nidi ipi pesa yangu mbio jantua kwa street bure roju ayy liwe liwalo so alikulipa ana nidipa naenda mungina nakuja yani unapata kita mbutu kwa shinda wastano ya langa wapi kila na prison tu watafuta hospital ya wako so after wazi ndo tulisikia kuna watu my agent ukuja ku sacrifice madame kwa street okay but i thank god 
mimi Mungu hakuwa nao. Okay. Nilikuwa um, under the masses of God. Kando na hiyo story yako nyingine. Ah, na story. Ukishikiwa pengine kisu ah, tu na bunduki tu once uhuru highway. Ushashikiwa bunduki. Yes. Na nani? Na this karasinga. Customer? Yeah, he was a client. Okay. Mulenda naye. Tulikuwa tunaenda tu kwa njia sijui aliambia why I might feel to kill you. Because you know kama jokes. Kaona ametoa bunduki. Kimchezo tu hivyo kwa gari. Yes. And he feels like killing you. Yeah. Unajua acha nikwambie kitu moja nimerudi kwa realize. Kwa gari yake ndani. Ndani kwanza nimevalia mini skirt. Na kuna malinta niko Uhuru Highway ni usiku saa 8. Ehe. Sijui maskari walitoka wapi Patro. Wako na gari mesimama Uhuru Highway wakakuja. Wakatuliza is everything okay kana bi ukijaribu kusema hapana nafanya hii trigger. Mimi nikamulika before askari wasimama mepo nilikuwa nimerukia kwa kioni nilikuwa chini. Odho niliumia umia. Okay. But Mungu akanisave tena hiyo ilikuwa mara ya pili. So Usiyo na tiyo maisha ina kuangati puwa apana. It is a bad life. It is a bad life. For sure. It, ni kutumikia jetani lakini pia ye. Eh, mm. Bila nasama angwa. Mishara wa dhambi ni mauti. Mm. Eh. Uliona ile uliona. Yes. Mabes mafichana wana, wana, wana. They go for witch doctor. Wana roga na wenyeo kwa wenyeo. Wana wengine wamekua kibwenda wazimu. Wana rokota makaratasi tau. Mm. Walikuwa tu poa. Nakua mwenda wazimu. Eh, vitu mingi tu. But tuseme kwambi huko ni heli nyingine bado iko na iko na heli yake kivi yake because kama wacha nikwambie wakati mtoto umemzaa umemlea katika njia ya kiungu kuna mali hata jaenda mm. even though ataenda huko utai hata a prostitute mm. like the way nilikuwa my mom she never give up with me alikuwa anaenda kina bali anaambia watu muombe mtoto wangu muombe mtoto wangu muombe alikuwa anajua wewe ni kahaba alijuanga afterwards jua aliambia na watu kwa mtaa sasa mm. nakuvile kuja na vaa mm. kuna tunamshuku vile anavaa anaka kama ah oh, sitaenda kujiuza town. Mm. My mama akasema it doesn't matter. Au ni wanadamu Mungu anasema nini kuhusu mtoto wangu. She didn't give up on you. She never don't give up with your child. Na babako? My dad ali alisema acha nikwambie mamangu na yeye ni mama ako na wisdom ya mm. Mungu. Hako mm. allow my my dad I love it. story kama hii. Okay. Mwambie msana wako tu anasikia na kunywa lakini story inafika. Unajua wacha nikwambie mzazi wamepewa mzazi kitu moja amepewa hekima na Mungu. Mm. Haizi taka kutukuambia si kila kitu mama ma, mama unaambia baba apana <laughs> kuwa mama wa siri mama pro, aliku protect kwa baba kabisa ok mkuu angapi kwa familia kutuko six mkuu wa sita yeah. wini mtoto angapi wa tatu mtoto wa tatu ok yeah. ok mm. tutaka porudia wani mgeni wetu jen watele atakona tu malizia kitu elezea ni kitu gani ambacho kiliweza kumufanya kabadilika yani licha kwamba kidogo uliwe kidogo tulue kafara um, by the way ulikuna pata pisa ngapi pesa mingi sana but really okay kwa usiku kwa usiku hata kati kwa... k20k but mimi naambia nga watu ili kusaidia hakuna kitu ilifanya nao mm. <laughs> kitu moja zani kuambia if you serve the devil mm. zake lazima atakujia mm. you cannot serve the devil no then utakuwa na ama na kuambia hata kij, hata kijiko yake ukiwa nayo wakati umetoka kwa ufalme wake mm. anakujianga that way hata kama unasabu shetani ni kwa muda mkikosana na yeye ama uende ile ufalme mwingine anakuacha na anaenda okay. so it better kwa Mungu mm. the Bible says the blessings of God never bring sorrows ukiwa kwa God yes. hakuna kitu ya Mungu inaweza majuto either ni mtoto either ni bwana either ni kazi yes. either ni pesa uko na mingi aje in the mm. kingdom of God nothing from God it brings sorrows Amen. but yote ni ya shetani ya dunia mm. lazima akujie na anakujianga na full force maana uh, umejivuta kazi yenye alikuwa ajiri nakumbuka mtoto wako alikuwa anakumbuka mama mimi nilikuwa namkumbuka but my mama alikuwa anataka pesa yangu but nafanya shopping naambia huu ni mtoto wangu kisa mungu chakula kutupa chakula mtupe na apeleka shopping na mba ya kabla yani vile mama naweza treat mtoto wake mm. nilikuwa napenda mtoto wangu kabisa juu singe nataka kum reject kwa sababu babake alim reject okay yes looking back kikumbuka kwamba ule mkono muacha mtoto wako usiku na mpatia pirito naondoka usiku mzima do you do you still hurt okay kacha nikwambie mm. wakati ume unatumia vitu ambazo ziko beyond your mind kama hizo drugs kwa tunatumia pombe yuchu mira bangi mm. unaona ni kitu kubwa hata unaweza chukua chupa ugonge mtu mm. uone mtu anamwaga damu sikia ya kwa nini nimekugonga because that's when una 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 not excuse na pela kuriha wakati mtu amekuwa addiction wa kitu mm. yoyote because first of all huo mtu hakuangi timamu hakuangi timamu huo mm. mtu anatumia vitu vitu tatu bangi sigara wengine anatumia baka marijuana anatumia baka mm. ile ile ya kusimiz ulitumia nini bangi na pombe na sigara okay 
Mm. Sio nakucha hizo vitu kitumia mm. akili yako ikuangi tima. Kwanza bangi ikuangi poa sana si ya okay. kupatua shangwe. Mm. Unaweza fanya kitu regret baadaye. Okay. So unaweza mnaweza pigana mpele mm. kwa police station. Mm. Pesa hata si tulikuwa customer wa central. Mm. Central akamkunji tulikuwa customer maana tumepigana na machupa tumeshikwa mm. tunasema tunasema tumesikizana juu ni watu wa barabara wote tunasikiza tunasikizana but first of all when when we in the darkness haunanga light yoyote so unafanya vitu za darkness mm. lakini wakati umekuja kwa light unaanga mm. wa kumbe yeah. kitu ilikuwa ngambaya hivi yeah. but in that in that kakuni kako ka, kaire kwa wakati tunafanya hiyo kitu hauonangi kitu unafanya mbaya i tell you yeah roho mbona ilikuwa ngumu na mayo sikujua kwa nini roho yangu ilikuwa ngumu hivyo mm -hmm but because uh to moja tani kuambia that's why nili mufre mufre ya mungu sababu nilijua the devil is powerless mm. because first of all if you have the mark of god even the devil himself haezi kutaka mm. that's why mungu wange alao ni kufia kwa inange hange alao ni kufia before the time mm. apana ok yeah. mtutu wako na umri mea wa na umri ujani sasa hivi niko na two children 23 years and mwa mungini yako na turn 14 years wait a minute baada huyu mtoto wa kwanza ulienda ukajifungua mwingine mhm ehe wapo kwa after kwa after, 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 after nilili reform mm. nilili get married oh really yeah wow and after that nani yalikuwa nililoa na this guy mm. like before my turning point mm -hmm. because hapo ndio nilikuja nikaingia kwa marriage mm -hmm. kulikuja a client mm -hmm. nikadhani ni client kwa club mm -hmm. but i didn't know he's a preacher because tumezoea kuna watu kwa club tabani mm -hmm. tu ni client mm -hmm. na kanambia Jane Uh, mungu amenituma kwako kwa ni kuambia nataka kukubadilisha maisha ambayo unakaa. Mm. Hiyo maisha si mazuri na Mungu anaambia nataka kukutumia mm. kama nabii wa nyakati za mwisho. Na mimi nikaambia mtumishi wa Mungu mimi nataka pesa. Nikipata pesa nita nitaacha na hii life. Akaniambia ote utapata pesa. Na lakisho yake for sure nilikuwa na 160,000. Ni bibi ya mtu alikuwa mwe. The such a man alikutoka kwa sijui Israel, sijui Italy, mm. siwezi kumbuka. Mm nikamwibia lot of money so nilikuwa na 160000 mm -hmm. but siku sevika hiyo siku mm -hmm. nikatoka hapa nikaenda Mombasa nikakula raha nikiwa coast i hear the voice of god that's why na juanga watu sema Mungu aongee yangi god speaks mm -hmm. for those he love and those he chose for his purpose Mungu alianza kunongresha with the voice nikarudi na robi kufika hapo Mombasa na nikaingia kwa club nyingine nikaanza kunywa chupa moja another servant came kaniambia Jane God you want to use you. Why are you running away for for God? Nikakumbuka when I studied the word after. Mm. Nikaona kuna mtu alikuwa anaitwa John, alikuwa na hepa hepa Mungu. So I was like a Jonah. Sitaki ku serve God because naona si stahili mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Mm. Preacher kaniambia hakuna dhambi kubwa kwa Mungu ambaye Yesu aweze akasamehe. That was alikuwa msalabani ndio akusamehe. And after that, kaambia that servant of God, nataka uambie huo Mungu nataka mume kana hivyo utapata mume lakini you never enjoy the marriage na it is true after that i get to marriage the gangster huh yes okay gangster after that nika conceive akaenda committee prison so nikalea mimba huyo gangster mlikutana naye wapi tuliko tumeleezwa kwa mtaa moja na nilijua okay. ni gangster but because okay. i want to reform and okay. i want to be a housewife na nimeambia mm. mungu nataka ku change mm. nikaolewa but after what he was shot and dead really yes alikuwa ni mwizi wa nini alikuwa mwizi wa bunduki Okay. Yeah. But pia mimi lakini ulikuwa unajua ni mwizi wa bunduki. Nilijua ni mwizi nikajua kama Mungu amenibadilisha mimi na nikahaba hata umwizi si atabadilika. Ndio. So nilikuwa namwombea, nimwambie mm -hmm. maisha unaenda kuiba si mzuri. Na mwen college kama vile bibi na bwana wanaongea. Asubuhi akitoka unajua wa, ni kazi ya gani? Mimi nikukaa tu kwa news. Nikoje kama nitaona mali popote wa hizo wameuawa. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa kazi yangu. Nikimwombea tu. Nikiona amerudi naambia Mungu asante. Na yeye alikuwa anajua ulikuwa uko kahaba. Na yeye alijua tu nilikuwa kahaba ni reform. Mm -hmm. So mimi maisha yangu ilikuwa abadilike tuishi kama bibi na bwana mm. but it is mapenzi ya hiyo ilikuwa ni mapenzi yangu mm. that's what the bible says the plan of men has failed so okay. mimi nikapasa na kaniachia mtoto mdogo okay. na, akiwa mdogo na nikaambia Mungu kama hiyo ndio mapenzi yako Mungu nitaka tu kuniwin ili mm. nitoke kwa ile maisha mm. ni kwa ready kukutumikia huyo mtoto wako mwingine uliyemzaa ulimkuza vipi ulipata huo ni mmoja mzuri tena ni nilikuwa sikurudi maana mume amekufa mm. maisha imeanza tena zero mm. but nikaambia tu god i need your grace kama yeah. mungu ni yoko with purpose let me tell you one people they think the salvation it kama wa demonstrate muambia salvation it is a journey don't think it's the the blood and the tea mm. no ni pitie kwa jangwa hata unakosa baka hiyo food mtu anajua kwa inange vile kuko mm. but i thank god because mungu kupatia grace yes for now mimi na for now mimi ni preacher naambia watu there is still hope 
na usijichukie venye huko i used to cancel the children in the school nenda kwa machache kuongelesha watu siezi taka mtoto wa mtu that is what i see mm apitie maisha ambayo nilipitia wakusikia asikie wakataa akatai but mimi nilitumwa na Mungu kama life saver ya maisha ya watu Mungu ali wacha nikwambie si eti Mungu wako wa kwa kiti anaona mimi yale napitia angezuilia pia mimi ningetaka nisome ningetamani kuwa msichana mzuri ningetamani kufanya harusi ya kanisa but if it god allow me to pass that because of him ningesema nini okay yeah katika kazi yako unajua mm. kuna vitu vingi ambavyo mtu anaji expose to mm. did you ever get sick did you expose yourself to sickness no mm. god mungu alini preserve to mm. mungu ali by the grace of god mungu aliniurumia because nikwambie if that unaweza hata ukagonjeka na mungu niye amekutumania nataka kukukomboa anaweza kuponya mm. mungu hizi tumana kwa inange ukuje utolewe na nataka ukufe kwa hivyo ukupate ugonjwa wote na god god preserve me wow yeah okay hata sijui mtu si wadimiti waje from mm. nikiwa mtoto mdogo mm. sijui mm. but na dajua si 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 ambi mtu si encourage mtu afanye hiyo maisha hapana hiyo si maisha mzuri mm. kitu naweza encourage mtu tabeba sasa kuna kahaba sasa hizi anakusikiza mm. na roho yake labda ilikuwa kwa kama yako ngumu mm. okay mm. na najua wengi ni mashabiki wangu mm anakusikiliza sasa hivi unaweza kumpatia ushauri gani kimi kitu naziambia mtu atane na hiyo life kitu ya pili wacha nikwambie the bible says whatever you shall in the book of Deuteronomy 28 whatever you shall touch with your hand it is blessed kwa hivyo hakuna mali imesema kenye ukiuza mwili wako umebarikiwa hakuna scripture kama hiyo kwa bible mm. but kenye Mungu amesema sema whatever you touch with your hand you are blessed kwa hivyo unaweza kuuza hata nyanya unaweza uza anything unajua kitu moja tuko na mentality gani watu tunaona kama wewe ni fala hmm. kwa sababu ile job unachapa nao na kuna wenyewe huko wewe ni mtu classic let me kwa sababu ya maisha ya baada ya hii maisha tunaishi kuna maisha let me tell you one thing you no know, the sounds of god wakati una preach about bible tunaanga ni kama hadithi za kale za abunuasi sio una story ya god ni abunuasi hmm. no hmm. there is life there is heaven and there is hell hizo ziko totally ziko me, because me i remember one day god revealed for me the hell I was it, it is not a dream god took my spirit mm. na kanionesha you see hapa ni kwenye walinikata mm-hmm. and I was asking god kwa nini mungu basi uliumba watu ni wapeleke jehanamu mm-hmm. god spoke to me the spirit of god spoke to me kaniambia because they, they have rejected me i have rejected them so after you reject god ataku reject na utaenda the lake of the fire okay yeah wow yeah so mimi uongelesha watu mm-hmm na na encouraging watu mm-hmm. na pia sinyima nangi namba yangu ya simu mtu akataka because kuna watu wako na private mambo zake thank you hawatakangi kushare kwa kama vile na share mimi mm-hmm. mimi i never ashamed mm-hmm. because mimi utaka ni save life ya mtu mm-hmm. because za nikwambia first of all na kutoka watu kuna spirit ya masturbation watu wameshikwa na hiyo spirit na kutoka mtu akombaka kwa mpaka kwa church mm-hmm. but hiyo spirit because aje ya nakukonfess kwa mtu inamsumbua mpaka kiasi cha kwamba wengine hata wanajiua imeongea imeongea na watu kadhaa na Mungu by the grace of God Mungu ambaye wadeliver na wametoka kwa spirit ya ma- masturbation immorality no see that nikwambia kitu moja maidosi mm. thani ma- a prostitute ni wanawake tu pia mm. kuna wanaume naongeanga nao mm, mm. wananiambia mimi nalanga na bibi yangu lakini lazima nipite koinange ninaezaje acha hii kitu na yeye sana bibi yake anajua kwa mume kwa nyumba mm. but hiyo pita koinange is mm. a spirit si kupenda kwake okay. na muonga naongea nao na nampatia na mashauri na namu encourage na namwambia that is not the life tunakupata kwa namba gani kwa sababu ya muda Okay ukitaka kunipata kwa namba yangu ni 0721 mm-hmm. 651407 cha nirudia tena. Unapeleka mbio 0721 mm-hmm. 0721 651 651 407 407. Yeah that's my number. Kwa mtu yote ambaye pengine angependa kuwasiliana na Jen Watere ambaye sasa hivi amebadilika alikuwa kahaba sasa hivi unasema una uko katika kanisa yeah, niko kanisa wa Bible ya wasichana ambao wana mm-hmm ni makahaba yes. okay na mtu yote ambaye anataka kubadilika mm-hmm. maisha yake kubadilisha yes. maisha yake mm. e, jena anapatikana kwa 0721651407 mm-hmm. anatoa ushauri wa bure na mnawasiliana zaidi mm-hmm. iwapo pengine ungependa kwenda naye kwenda i mean kwenda kumzungumzia moja kwa moja mm-hmm. okay mm. jena tere yeah. asante sana kwa kuja katika studio zetu mm. tunaamini kwamba Uh, kuna sababu ya kuwewe kufika hapa siku mm-hmm. leo. Yeah. Na naamini kuna maisha ya mtu unaweza kubadilisha. Kabisa. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mimi nasema asante sana kwa wale wote ambao wamekuwa nami kuanzia saa 4 mpaka sasa hivi. Kesho pia ni siku uh, majali wa Mwenyezi Mungu ikiwezekana tutaweza kuwa pamoja. Um, Ambosire na aligned 
kuanzia saa tisa mpaka saa moja usiku wanaku hola <laughs> I like that quite an interesting uh, pair alafu saa moja usiku Bramwell Mololo akichukua usukani nimeondoka tu nane majaliwa mwenye